Hello everyone, ice plays a crucial role in maintaining the Earth's temperature balance, retaining freshwater, providing habitats for animals and plants, reducing gravitational pressure on continents, and maintaining chemical balance in the oceans. However, if all the ice on Earth were to melt overnight, what would happen? First, we need to understand that ice on Earth is distributed across various regions, primarily 99% concentrated in the North and South Poles. Specifically, ice in the North Pole is mainly concentrated on Greenland and the surrounding Arctic regions, such as Canada, Russia, and Alaska, USA. These areas experience thick and robust ice cover. Ice in the South Pole, namely Antarctica, holds a massive amount of ice, prominently visible on world maps. The ice here forms colossal ice shelves, also known as the Antarctic Ice Sheet. The remaining percentage is found in high-altitude plateaus and mountain ranges such as the Himalayas and the Andes. Currently, the total area covered by glaciers on Earth is approximately 16 million square kilometers. In reality, a small amount of ice melts into the oceans each year. According to scientists, it usually takes hundreds or even thousands of years for all the ice on Earth to melt completely, assuming no replenishment. However, if all glaciers worldwide were to melt in just one night, it would be a hypothetical scenario, resembling a different version of the 2012 disaster movie where melted ice would merge with the sea. At that point, the estimated sea level rise would be around 65.8 meters, submerging coastal areas and many seaside cities. It is estimated that up to 40% of the world's population would have no place to live. Now, let's explore specific regions that would be affected if all the ice in the world were to melt. Europe's Venice, once a beautiful city, is now merely a sea area. The majority of France's territory has disappeared. At that time, the Eiffel Tower might be just a lonely lighthouse in the middle of the sea, only standing firm against the large waves. If it withstands the strong waves, the Netherlands, the world's lowest country, will become the seabed. Similarly, Denmark, with a significant part of its territory submerged, will be engulfed by the sea. In Africa, not much land will be lost to the sea compared to other continents, but the city of Dakar on the west coast of Africa will be submerged in seawater. North African countries bordering the Mediterranean will also lose significant portions of their territories. The remaining parts of Africa will be above sea level, but intense heatwaves will transform certain regions on this continent into truly barren lands. In Asia, the country of Bangladesh, one of the most densely populated nations in the world, is estimated to be almost wiped out. Approximately 160 million people in this country may be left homeless. India will lose a portion of its western coastal territory. In East Asia, Shanghai, Beijing, and a significant part of the lush territories in the east of China will be submerged. North and South Korea will experience significant territorial losses, while Japan, due to its higher elevation relative to sea level, will be less affected compared to other East Asian countries. In the Oceania region, the land territory of Australia may not seem significantly reduced, but in reality, the inhabited areas will be greatly diminished. The majority of Australia's population resides within approximately 50 kilometers of the coastline, and many residential areas will become submerged. Inland regions, including deserts, will become more inhospitable, turning into barren lands. In North America, nearly all cities on the east coast of the United States are expected to become multiple islands. In Central America, similar to Mexico, the landmass will disappear significantly, and the Panama Canal may no longer be necessary. This is not a scenario that can be easily imagined. If all the ice on Earth were to suddenly and completely melt, it would cause a series of environmental and societal disasters. Here is a detailed summary of the consequences. Firstly, we would have no freshwater source to use as all the ice melting would lead to an underground catastrophe. The rising sea levels would intrude into the underground freshwater reservoirs deep within the soil, affecting the freshwater aquifers nearby. It is noteworthy that aquifers supply drinking water, irrigation water, and water for power plant cooling systems. However, with all the global ice melting, all aquifers would be destroyed, leading to a shortage of freshwater that would significantly impact agriculture and food production. Land previously used for cultivation may become unsuitable for agriculture due to the reduced water supply. Next, the disruption of ocean currents and weather patterns could occur. When all the ice melts, about 69% of the world's freshwater supply would flow directly into the ocean. 
The melting of icebergs globally plays a crucial role in shaping the ocean current system. As the ice melts, freshwater from the ice will flow into the ocean, reducing the salinity of seawater. This can alter ocean currents, causing changes in global water systems, continued global temperature rise, and damage to the atmospheric circulation. Changes in ocean currents and weather patterns could also impact global rainfall and drought patterns. Some regions may become drier due to changes in airflow and temperature patterns, while others may face increased rainfall and flooding. Higher temperatures will cause all rivers and lakes to evaporate, leading to widespread drought, creating a climate similar to a desert. When the ice melts, it will affect human life, leading to high unemployment rates, loss of agricultural land, and a significant decrease in food supply, resulting in widespread poverty and famine worldwide, prompting large-scale migrations. Furthermore, the Earth would be contaminated. The melting of icebergs would awaken ancient viruses that have been frozen for a long time. This poses a terrifying threat to humanity. In 2015, scientists discovered ancient viruses thousands of years old in permafrost in Siberia. These ancient viruses are like a Pandora's box sealed shut. However, the melting of global icebergs is the key to unlocking this box. Finally, with the sudden increase in sea levels due to the simultaneous melting of icebergs, the Earth's rotation speed would gradually slow down. Energy accumulated in the Earth's crust would be released, resulting in frequent severe earthquakes worldwide. Simultaneously, active volcanoes would erupt immediately. Scientists have also demonstrated that icebergs can trap extremely toxic chemicals for many decades, and if they melt, all those chemicals would be transferred into rivers, lakes, and groundwater. Arctic ice may contain mercury, for example, and when it melts, the massive amount of released mercury would devastate the environment. Arctic ice also contains organic matter, becoming a breeding ground for thriving microorganisms. Microorganisms that consume organic matter produce greenhouse gases like CO2 and methane, thereby accelerating global warming. The estimated amount of greenhouse gases would double compared to the current levels. And when this happens, the mini ice age in northern Europe would disappear, and rivers and lakes worldwide would also vanish. Everything would evaporate due to the rapid rise in temperature, making many areas arid. Hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, everything would happen faster and stronger. In the history of Earth, there have been at least four ice ages, but the current cause is still a controversial and mysterious topic for scientists. With such issues, researchers have to propose various hypotheses, and one of the most convincing is the change in the Earth's axial tilt over many years. In the future, let's imagine how life for current plant and animal species would be affected. The first thing is that giant creatures, including animals and plants, would go extinct because they wouldn't have enough food. Only a few plant species could survive in places where the sun shines warm enough for photosynthesis during this period, when plant growth is slow. This would have a particularly significant impact on herbivorous animals as they would not have enough food to eat, leading to the extinction of some species. Finally, with the sudden increase in sea levels due to the simultaneous melting of icebergs, the Earth's rotation speed would gradually slow down. Energy accumulated in the Earth's crust would be released, resulting in frequent severe earthquakes worldwide. Simultaneously, active volcanoes would erupt immediately. Of course, no one wants a scenario where all the ice on Earth melts. However, with the current global warming situation, scientists urge countries and people around the world to take action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In this way, we can see clearly that an Earth that is too hot is not good, and when it is too cold, it is not good either. When there is too much ice, life becomes difficult, and when the ice melts, life becomes even more challenging. That is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you for listening to my story. If you have any suggestions for stories, please leave them for me, and if you find it interesting, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share. This is the HT Story YouTube channel where I share stories about geography, culture, society, and history. Every day, there will be new videos. Goodbye.